Bros, what did I just get in the mail? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. I didn't expect us this soon. Let's go check this thing out. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dan. This is Neil Mustangs. And this is my Fox Body Mustang channel. If you guys have been following along with the channel, I have actually done a number of videos that might have been useful to some of you guys. I actually ended up doing a video with all seven Fox Body Mass Air and Speed Density harnesses found right here. But today, I got something in the boxes that pertains to something like that. So let's get busy, let's open up this box, and I'll show you what we got for the channel today. All right, let's pop the little one open and see what we got. Pretty sure I know what this is too. All right, all right. Oh, I definitely dig them. Got some new merch, boys. I like that better. Simple to the point. If you guys are interested in these hats, let me know. Leave a comment below. Let's see what's in the big box here. We'll get this thing cut open. And I'll show you what the newest addition to the channel is, bros. Yes, sir, going up on the lift. All my other cool stickers. I want to give a shout out to Donnie B. If he's watching the channel, make sure you check his channel out. It's up here. Donnie B is the head sales or uh, one of the bigger managers at Anderson Ford Motorsports. I want to talk about Anderson Ford Motorsport real quick before we get back into the box. Anderson Ford Motorsports has been around since Fox Bodies literally got crazy back in the late 80s and early 90s. The 87, 93 stuff that we like. Back in the day, Anderson Ford Motorsports was the go-to. They had, they went all in on Fox bodies themselves with the power pipes and the camshafts and the other, when you thought, when you talked about Fox bodies back in the, back in the nineties and you talked about Resto, these people came up in your, in your conversation. So what you all right, so new to the channel, the unboxing is, I think it's in here upside down. Yes, sir. 550-937F. Guess what that is? All right, so this is a Holley Terminator X that's made for that car specifically. Holley's been in the game a long time, so I felt that it was a kind of an order that we do an unboxing of this specific item. This item is hot. It's on back order for a reason, folks. So we're gonna unbox the Terminator X in straight raw form here and I'm going to show that to you here on the channel I'm also going to talk about my thoughts on what I think of it now I want before I get this box open I want you guys to know that guys I've been tuning Mustangs Fox Body Mustangs for a long time I've been in restoration business with Fox Bodies since the 90s I've seen a lot of harnesses come and go I've seen the micro squirt I've seen the stinger I've seen the pimp. I have rewired complete mass air engine harnesses, computers, fixed computers. So I'm going to give you my first thoughts and impressions of this item. Obviously, it's not been opened yet, so I want to show you. First things first, let's go with the small thing. Now, this obviously is the plug for the map or map sensor, and that's exactly what it is. It's a map sensor. This is a three bar map sensor. This is good for about 30 pounds of boost. For my application, I run an on three modified turbo kit and I plan on turning it up, but I don't think we're gonna get up to 30 pounds, but you never know, we like to party. It's got the pin outs with instructions on how to repin it. Let's check out the other small item. Now this is an extra cost. This doesn't come with the kit. And I would highly suggest you get it anyways. Moving on. Okay, so I opted to buy the cable. Now, Donnie B at Anderson Ford Motorsports told me that I really should get this cable. And I guess I'll find out later. This is this something for the laptop. Um, and as I install it, I'll do a little bit of the video on it. But it looks like it's got a connection for the ECU, and this is probably for the laptop. So I can just pull out the laptop and, and connect it. So we're gonna go ahead and put that off the side. So those two things had to be purchased in addition to the actual harness itself. So I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the harness now. This is an 18 millimeter bump. 
So this has to go in your downpipe or somewhere that it can, this is obviously an air intake temp sensor. Absolutely, this is what's in your number five runner on your, on your Fox body Mustang. So this sniffs the actual temp, temperature inside of the actual intake itself. This has been moved to, on my SCT BA5000, this is actually on the sensor, on the MAF sensor. I could be wrong about some of these sensors, but again, guys, this is a raw video of what I think this stuff is and what it means to me. This is definitely engine coolant temp sensor. This is the sensor that usually is found in the heater tube that runs, you know, the heater tube on the passenger side of the lower intake. It usually has a sensor on the top. Um, that's the engine coolant temp sensor. So that's good. It's got its own output. There we go. This stuff has been on back order for a while. We purchased one of these a while ago. And I was unsure if I was going to stick with it. This must be the ECU. Holly Terminator X EFI. And I think there's a bracket that comes with this that mounts it on the floor. That's all it is. Couple outputs, bunch of pins, ready to go. So we got the IAT, the ECT, got a bunk. Let's see if they sent me, oh, there it is. I'm impressed. So I do have a wide band. This obviously will pro plug into an extension harness, I'm sure. And it's heat coated, which is really, really nice. And this will go into my 18 millimeter here. Yes, sir. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep that on there. I'm gonna put these back in. There you go. That'll be welded onto my downpipe and it'll be ran through my floor on my floor pan. The guy who made this kit is a Fox body guy. This is specifically made for Fox bodies. Like if you got computer issues and you got harness issues trying to figure it out, dump the money and go get this. This is obviously worth its money. MAT, CTS, and there's a diagram in here. And it's even got pinouts. I mean, I'm just, I'm impressed as a tuner and a guy who messes with harnesses all the time. Obviously, this is your main harness that goes to the ECU. Right here. Pretty easy. Got a relay. This is the full, this is the fuel fuse. Got inputs here, plus to the uh, fuel pump, ground, ground harness. Yeah, look at this. Injectors, obviously there's an injector harness. This is amazing. This is, this is really user friendly. This is obviously the connect to battery. No, this is the battery. This is power ground. This must be power ground. This is the LED, oh, okay, so this is a three and a half, right? This is just a cover. There's a little three and a half display. So this plugs into the ECU itself somewhere, and you can do all your quick references. Again, I got that extra cable so this could go into my laptop. So I don't have to do all the tuning through my, you guys can go to hollyefi.com or holly.com and you can download the software and build a tune for your car right there for free. All the base calibration files are there. You got all you got to do is once you get this thing installed, is you got you just got to verify base timing. But that's normal. Here's another pigtail, and I'm sure there's a an instruction manual in here that's going to tell me a little bit more about it. This is my injector harness. This is my TFI. Look at that. It changes the distributor. Gets rid of the, the spout and plugs into the terminator. Oh, little pin out for the three and a half display. Looks very nice. So you don't have to finger it up all the time. Some boost reference clips. This is another input for, I'm not sure yet. And last but not least in this box is the bracket, apparently. And a whole lot of instructions, which looks super easy friendly. All right, so that's about all I got for you today, guys. I hope you appreciate uh, the unboxing. I wanted to show you guys my first impressions on what I thought this and how good this thing was. And I'm pretty impressed. It's, I mean, you can definitely tell this harness was designed specifically for Fox body Mustang. So that Terminator hype is real. I think it looks good. 
we'll see how good it is and I'll check back with you guys on the install and, and when we start getting it tuning. But from what I'm told and from what everybody else has told me about the Terminator X, this is as simple as it's gonna get. It's self-learning, it's fast, it's easy to tune. And this is coming from a guy who was a diehard Motes quarter horse binary editor guy. I've went very fast, made a lot of power with binary editor. Does the other stuff still work? Yes. The micro squirts, the mega squirts, the, the stinger, the pimps, the binary editors, the quarter, whatever, that stuff still works. If you don't have an opportunity at getting to a good tuner, because tuners at this age, they're, they're hard to find now. So systems like Terminator X and self-learning and self-tuning is something that, you know, that's the wave of the future with Fox bodies. You know, the computers are starting to dry up, you know, as being good computers and you start, you know, there's so much confusion about what harness works with what. I mean, I tried to fix that in my video, but it don't matter. It only sees so many people. I figured on the channel, at least one of my Fox bodies that I vlogged would get the Holly Terminator X so I could legitimately give you my idea of what, how good it is, what, how, I, how I feel about it. And we're gonna rock it on a black car this year and see how good it really is. If you enjoy my channel, you enjoy Fox Body Mustangs, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. I got a join button below. It's a club membership where we're gonna be doing some pretty big giveaways at the end of the year. Outside of that, guys, I just appreciate you guys watching the video. I appreciate the time that you put into watching my videos and I'll see you soon.